Now children, we learn one more new concept that is missing numbers. So on the board I have a question. Uh, here, before doing the subtraction, how to find a missing number, we will be writing what is minus, what is subtraction and what is the difference. So we know that the number before minus is minus. So this is minus and this is subtraction because it is the number after minus and the difference of both numbers is this way. Right? So the answer is different. So it is difference. So before doing this here I can say that minus and minus subprehend is difference and minus and when minus and is to be found out we need numbers missing numbers in minus and then what we need to do we need to add both subprehend and the difference okay we need to add both subprehend and difference now I want missing numbers in subprehend so what will I do I will be you know, uh, they are subtracting the numbers of the difference from the minus. So, minus minus difference will give me the missing numbers in subprehend. Okay, when I add subprehend in difference, I will get the missing numbers in the minus. And if I want missing numbers in the difference, then I can directly subtract both subprehend and minus. So, now on the board, I have example over here. Then I can see that there are missing numbers in the subprehend part. So what will I do? I need missing numbers in the subprehend part, right? So now I will be subtracting the difference from the minus. So I need to do minus minus difference. So minus is this and difference is this. So I need to subtract it. I'll write the numbers over here again. 65,124 which is a minus. And the difference is 38,729. So I will be subtracting it. I do the minus part over here. Now, children, you remember, right? Always we start from one column. So in the one column, I have 4 minus 9. By now, we are very much thorough that I cannot subtract. 9 right from 4. So as 9 is a greater number, I will need, I need to borrow. Right? I need to borrow from the tens column. So I will be borrowing 1 10 from the tens column and here it will become 10 once. Right? Now 10 plus 4. Okay, 14 minus 9. Right? I need to add both these numbers, then do minus of this digit, right? So 10 plus 4 is 14. Minus 9. So after 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So the answer is 5. I will write 5 over here. Now coming to the 10th column. In 10th column I have 1 minus 2 which I cannot do. That's the reason I need to borrow 100 from the 100th column to the 10th column. So here it will become 0, right? Here it will become again 10 tenths. 100 will become 10 tenths. So 10 plus 1, 11 minus 2. So 11 minus 2 I need to do now. So 11 minus 2 how will I do after 2? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So the answer is 9. So I will write 9 over here. Okay. Now. Coming to the hundreds column. In hundreds column, I need to do 0 minus 7, which I cannot do as 7 is greater than 0. So, I need to borrow 1000 to the hundreds column. So, I will be borrowing 1000 over here from here. So, it will become 4 over here and here it will become 10 hundreds. 1000 will become 10 hundreds. So, 10 plus 0 is 10. Now, 10 minus 7, how much? After 7, 8, 9, 10. It is 3. I will write 3 over here. Now, coming to the thousands column. In thousands column, I have 4 minus 8. As 8 is a greater number, I need to borrow 1 ten thousand to the thousands column. So, here it will become 5. Okay? Now, here 1 ten thousands, when I take to the thousands column, it will become 10 thousands. 10 thousands. So, 10 plus 4 is how much children? It is 14. So, 14 
minus 8. So, uh, how, what is the answer? After 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So, the answer is 6, right? So, I will write the answer 6 over here. Okay, now coming to the 10,000 scholar, it is 5 minus 3. So, after 3, 4, 5, it is 2. Now, when I subtracted the difference from the monument, I, I now have the subtracted, right? Now, I compare this and this to get the missing numbers. In the 1's column, I have 5 and 5. So, now I move to the 10's column. In 10's column, I have a missing number over here. But here, I have 9. So, I can write 9, which is the missing number directly over here, okay? Now, moving to 100's column, I have 3. Here also, 3 is there. Now, moving to the 1000's column, there is a missing number. So, I need to see and compare. So, here I have 6. I can write 6 over here. Again, 2 and 2. So, children, this is how you find out the missing numbers. I will be taking one more example for your better understanding. Now, children, I have one more example over here. In this example, I have missing numbers in the monument. So, to find out the missing numbers in the monument, what should I do? I should add the supra and, and the difference, right? So, I will be writing over here both supra and, and the difference. So, the supra and is 3, 8, 4, 9, 3, 7. And the difference is 4, 8, 5, 3, 0, 8. Now, I will do the addition to get the missing numbers of the monument, right? So, in the 1's column, I have 7 plus 8. So, what is 7 plus 8 after 7? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, right? So, 5 and 1 carry, right? I need to carry 1. Now, 3 plus 0 is 3, plus 1 which is carry, 4. Now, I will get the answer here, 4 in the 10th column. Now, moving to 100th column, it is 9 plus 3. So, after 9, 10, 11, 12. So, I have 12. 2 over here and 1 should be carried to the thousands column. Now, in the thousands column, I have 4 plus 5. So, what is 4 plus 5? 9. And 9 plus 1, which is a carry, now it is 10. So, 0. And again, 1 is carried to the ten thousands column. In ten thousands column, I have 8 plus 8. So, after 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, right? Now, 16 plus 1, which is a carry, will become 17. 7 over here and 1 should be carried to the last column, right? Now, here I have 3 plus 4. How much is 3 plus 4, children? It is 7. So, 7 plus 1, which is the carry, will become 8. So, now I am comparing the numbers of this to the monument over here because it is monument only. So, in 1's column I have 5 and 5. In 10's column I have 4 and 4. In 100's column here it is 2 but here there is a missing number. So, the missing number is here it is 2. Okay. Now, in the 10,000's column I have 0 and 0. Okay. In, sorry, in 1,000's column I have 0 and 0. In 10,000's column I have 7 and here it is a missing number. So, it is 7. Okay, and here in the last column will be 10, 8. So, this is how you find out the missing numbers of the monument when you have both difference and the subtraction. Children, there is an exercise related to this concept in your textbook. Please practice it.